What's going on today, guys? Let's get a look at what's in my pockets today. I'll give you an opinion on the Altum and let you know I have a video review real soon, maybe even later today, coming out on this Pioneer Jack from Jack Wolf Knives. You see the pairing's kind of nice here. So I got these Altum scales on AliExpress for like 15 bucks. I've been really wanting to try this Altum before I spent like a hundred or more dollars from um, another supplier. I know the internal debate with the AliExpress and stuff like that. This is an original design and I just thought, you know, for like 15 bucks and I've even seen them as cheap as like $11. Was it, uh, you know, worth passing on or trying? So went ahead and the fit and finish is awesome. You know, I, I know you can give or take Chinese manufactured, uh, maybe parts, knives, things like that. But, uh, there's no denying the value here. I really, really do like it. And it pepped up my old 204 P paramilitary two. And it's funny because I have uh three paramilitary twos now. And I always say the more and more I carry the para, and this is years later, the more I appreciate it. It feels like it just has such a great balance of enough blade thickness to feel like a tough knife. And again, I don't pry with my knives too much. So that distilled tip that we all know and love about the paramilitary uh, just makes it cut really well. And it's balanced. Once you lay that edge back, I think you can see how far I might be right around 15 or maybe 14. This is just a freehand edge. Um, they really have great slicing ability. And I'm not telling you guys anything you don't already know. But it's funny, all of these knives that I've tried and owned and do own and carry and use, and ultimately, I still think the Para 2 is in the top three EDCs you could choose. Um, I have a few more videos that I want to make this weekend. Um, I'll explain my absence in a second, but uh, what I really want to do is show the para next to the bug out and kind of give my own opinions. I know that topic is probably played out, but I want to give my opinions uh, versus the two because I had a comment on the last video that said that they liked the bug out a whole lot. And I think it is a fantastic knife. There's a lot of fantastic knives. That's almost a problem now in the EDC community is, <laughs> and it's a first world problem, right? that there's so many great knives to choose from. There's so many new designs coming out. There's so many new materials, right? Altum's hot now, uh, fat carbon, right? It's still hot. I think it's gonna remain hot. I, I think it's gonna be timeless a lot like blasted titanium. I don't know so much about the Altum. It's kind of like a, piss yellow you know um it is cool because i like ugly things and to me this fits in right with my uh like od greens and uh like this kind of ugly looking hat i don't know i like patina i don't mind rust spots i don't mind pitted chrome you know i like rat rods stuff like I don't know, stuff that has character in it more so than ugly. I think I'm using ugly in the wrong term, but I like Altum. And I understand why some people hate it. I get it. So anyways, there's so much selection in the EDC world now from gear being even uh, custom slips. I'm actually just carrying my Jack Wolf knives. This is kind of just my ongoing test of seeing how these go. The patina from the original because when I recommend these knives and say that the slip is good quality, I want you to know I've been steadily carrying one for over a year. And this is exactly how it would look in your pocket. I mean, these knives are not cheap. They're not too expensive in my opinion, but they're not cheap. And uh, the slip, you know, should reflect that quality as well. And it does. So, um, 
I don't know where I was going. Oh, so many great knife designs. And then you just find the paramilitary too. And it's funny how many people, even in my last comments of the video, like have done the full circle themselves. And it's like, you just come back to the paramilitary too, being damn near perfect. You know, it's hard to deny that. But I wanted to um, also do a video about the, just my thoughts on the paramilitary two versus the shaman, because I know there are several people out there who like just want one or two knives you know so they're going to choose between the para or the shaman and uh i have both so i'll go ahead and do a video repairing <laughs> comparing those it's still a little early um but yeah the edc community has never had as much options as we have right now and it's awesome it's overwhelming because where do you even start? But it's awesome. So, uh, again, I am way out, way, way out. I can't even tell you how far out I am. And we got people. <laughs> Without giving my location away, okay? I just, I'm so far out in the parking lot. It's unbelievable. Either way, EDC, I always have my AirPod Pros on me and today's watch is a f91w on a j and k's adapter with a nato strap nice and thin again i'm just doing some grocery shopping and think i have a toilet repair to do i got to drop off this box for um some donation clothes and you know, just kind of be bopping around on a weekend. It's a Saturday. And uh, that's what's in my pocket right here. Got my beater knife, got my Pioneer Jack, and I have to do this video. I'm late on the review. I've had the knife on time, but we had some medical scares, a bunch of medical scares. And uh, we're just gonna keep our head up and keep on trucking. Um, it was about, I think a four or five day stay at Duke hospital. I'm not going to get into it. Very scary, very traumatic. Um, and it involved one of the kids. So we were there and, um, I'm not, I'm not doing that right now. <laughs> I just, it's, it's a lot and I'm not going to share that yet, but anyways, um we're good now so don't fret we're gonna be all back up to uh normal here soon i think about three months maybe we'll see um but anyways that's why the review's late and we're good so don't worry but uh yeah EDC videos coming soon. Well, obviously this one will be posted and then uh, I want to do some comparison videos. Again, not anything people haven't seen, anything super groundbreaking, but I feel like I want to get my thoughts out there for those who uh, are wondering, you know, what are my opinions on some of these knives versus this? I've got some new stuff to show you. I uh, nuked a Jack Wolf knife. I did that like a week or two ago. So we'll show all that good stuff off. What are you guys carrying in your pocket? Do you think that the Para 2 is one of the top three greatest knives of all times? I really do feel that way. And the more I use it, the more it's just like, how do you beat this? They're affordable. They come out in a bunch of different steels. They have a bunch of different material to choose from aftermarket um you can get any kind of clip you want you can spend as much on them as you want i have one with a full rips garage tech scale and uh pocket clip 3d mill pocket clip on there you can get the mxg you can get the lynch clips um you can get titanium hardware off of aliexpress for like super cheap might still do that and they're just affordable. You can get backspacers. When I say affordable, I mean affordable in terms of 
you would think one of the greatest knives of all time would be starting at $300 and they're not, you know, you can get in and under $200 and there's pluses and minuses. You can just get the standard S30 or maybe the standard one is S35 now, you know, for the, a great price. And it's not like S35 or S30 is a bad steal. I, I want to give my thoughts on some of that too. Anything that holds its edge decently, uh, sharpens fast, there's value into resharpening fast and not being afraid to just use your knife for whatever you need to use it for because you know it's going to take five minutes to sharpen it back. And some of that's going to be on your methods, you know. Do you have a laid back edge with a micro bevel where all you really need to do is touch up the mi micro bevel maybe five, six times? It would cover the just hitting the micro bevel and then about every eighth sharpening or whatever you have to actually sharpen the full bevel you know how thin is the blade stock if it's real thin uh s30v is going to sharpen up really fast just like most steels are when they're really thin there's just not a whole lot of material to remove so i think there's value and some of those steels, even though I love my 15V, I love my Maximet, I love the M4. Um, have a long-term review coming on my M4 uh, thoughts and experiences. I have that Delica. I converted to a Lynch uh, conversion kit. I feel like it was maybe a year ago. I got a M4 Delica that I just bebop around the house with like literally around the house when I'm like in the PJs, uh, went ahead and gussied that thing up. But, uh, anyways, I am definitely rambling. I really just wanted to say hello, let you know, um, those that are close to me know that we have gone through a extremely difficult time and, uh, we're okay. So there's nothing to worry about. So we're all in good spirits. And here's the carry for today. I hope you guys have a great day and uh, look out for more videos soon. Part of me wants to do like, um, I don't know, like a challenge where you try to just do a video a day or even an Instagram post a day because I carry a lot of different items now. It'd be fun to do that. But when you're getting ready for a review of a knife, you kind of have to carry it. I, I guess you don't have to, but I feel like I should carry the knife for, you know, at least a week at a time. So that's where this two knife system really comes in because I can carry this every day and then I can rotate out the main knife or I can rotate out, you know, the slip joint and keep the main knife. But either way. All right, guys. I'm going to get out of here. Have a great weekend.